In this video, we're going to describe and explain the regioselectivity of electrophilic aromatic substitutions of substituted benzenes. And when we talk about the regioselectivity of this reaction, we're referring to the fact that particular substituents actually direct electrophiles to substitute at very specific positions that can be readily understood primarily using resonance. So on this first slide, what we're going to do is survey some observations of the effects of certain substituents on the location where substitution takes place. And what we find in general is that substituents direct electrophilic substitution to particular positions relative to the substituent. So we're going to talk about ortho, meta, and para substitution with respect to the position of the substituent in the starting substituted benzene. So for example, if we look at NR2 and OR substituted benzenes, for example, aniline, which is shown here, or anisole, which is the compound here, when these compounds are subjected to electrophilic aromatic substitution conditions, substitution occurs at the ortho and para positions selectively. No substitution at the meta position is observed. And so we use the term ortho para director to refer to these types of substituents since they direct electrophiles to substitute at positions that are ortho and para to the substituent. So here's the example for aniline. These are the ortho and para substituted products. And here are the examples for anisole, the ortho and para products. Other types of substituents direct not to the ortho and para positions, but to the meta position. So for example, if we take cyanobenzene and subject it to a strong electrophile, electrophilic aromatic substitution conditions, or nitrobenzene, under similar conditions, we observe substitution selectively at the meta position. Notice that in both of these products, E is meta to the substituent in the original molecule. So these are known as meta directors. Now is a good moment to pause the video and see if you notice a pattern in the structures of these substituents and their directing effects. What do the cyano and nitro substituents have in common? What about the methoxy and amino substituents? Well, the thing we'll notice here is that NR2, OR, and other orthopara directing substituents all have our general structural pattern, all fit the general structural pattern of electron donating groups. And these are all orthopara directing. On the other hand, cyano, nitro, and other meta directing groups like the carbonyl group all have the generic structural pattern of an electron withdrawing group. And these all direct to the meta position. So there's definitely a pattern here in these observations, and we can rationalize and explain this pattern using resonance. To begin thinking about this, I want to start with alkyl substituted benzenes. Alkyl groups are ortho para directors, and they activate benzene toward electrophilic aromatic substitution. They're electron donating groups, but not by resonance, by induction. They have bond dipoles that generally point toward the aromatic ring so that they donate electron density into the ring. And this actually helps us explain the fact that they are ortho para directors. To see this, let's consider the three possible sites of, of nitration of toluene when it's subject, subjected to these electrophilic nitration conditions with HNO3 and H2SO4. The NO2 group could go ortho to the methyl, meta to the methyl, or para to the methyl. And we know from observations of the reaction that the ortho and para products form selectively. The meta-substituted product is not observed. And this has something to do with this iridium ion 2 and the fact that it is not as stable as iridium ions 1 and 3. Why is this? Well, let's take a look at the location of the positive charge in 1 and 3 versus 2. Notice that in iridium ion 1, the ortho substituted um, iridium ion. We've got a tertiary carbocation here. And in an alternative resonance form of 3, which is the para-substituted iridium ion, we also have a tertiary carbocation. Relatively stable, right? More substituted carbocations are more stable. However, in cation 2, there's no way to get positive charge at the tertiary carbon 
right here. There is no way to push electrons in a resonance sense around that ring to land formal positive charge on this tertiary carbon. And so we're stuck with secondary carbocations in the various resonance forms of two. This actually makes it less stable than one and three because it's actually less substituted. Those positions where formal positive charge shows up are on the whole less substituted in two than in one and three. And so on a reaction coordinate diagram, the situation looks like this. Arrhenium ion two is less stable than Arrhenium ions one and three. And in fact, two is so much less stable than one and three that the reaction selectively goes down this path leading to the ions, Arrhenium ions one and three, and to the ortho and para products after loss of a proton from those Arrhenium ions. One thing we haven't noted yet that I'll mention now is that the para product tends to be favored over the ortho product for steric reasons in cases like this because of the steric shielding provided by the substituent. This para ion, we might argue, is a little more stable than the ortho ion where there might be a steric interaction between the methyl and the NO2 group. So in the case of alkyl benzenes, they're ortho para directors and it all comes down to inductive electron donation by the alkyl group stabilizing these arrhenium ions derived from substitution at the ortho and para positions much more than at the meta position. Groups that are electron donating by resonance are also ortho para directors, directing electrophiles to substitute at positions that are ortho or para to that substituent. And we can again understand this by considering the relative stabilities of the three possible arrhenium ions derived from substitution ortho, to the donating group, meta to the donating group, and para to the donating group. And here we're looking at an electrophilic nitration of anisole. All right, so how do we think about this? Well, first things first, we know from observations of the reaction that the major products are the ortho and para products. Meta substitution is not observed. This suggests that for some reason, two is less stable than arrhenium ions one and three. And now is a good moment to pause the video and see if you can rationalize this. Why is two less stable than one and three? And to give a hint, it has something to do with resonance. Try drawing resonance structures of one and three, and in particular, finding resonance structures that are there for one and three that are missing for arrhenium ion two. All right, the thing to notice about arrhenium ions one and three is that the methoxy group gets involved in stabilizing the positive charge by acting as an electron donating group. So notice in one, it's possible to simply push a lone pair off of the methoxy oxygen and put positive charge on that methoxy oxygen in an alternative resonance form. For three, the electron flow is slightly more complicated. There's one extra curved arrow right here, but after pushing these pi electrons over, we see that the methoxy can again participate in stabilizing the positive charge. There's a, an additional resonance form of the arrhenium ion that puts positive charge actually outside of the ring on that electron donating group. However, this is not possible in two, and this is again actually worth pausing the video and drawing this out and rationalizing it to yourself, convincing yourself that we cannot draw a resonance form of two in which there is positive charge on the methoxy oxygen. This makes that arrhenium cation less stable then one and three, and puts us in a situation similar to the one we saw in the last slide with respect to the reaction coordinate diagram with the ortho and para substituted arrhenium ions, one and three, much, much more stable than the meta substituted ion two. The additional resonance forms in one and three are the origin of this additional stability. And this leads to the ortho and para products selectively. The reaction takes a path that is entirely along this lower energy path with one and three appearing as a mixture of ortho and para products. So here it's all about resonance donation of electron density by that X substituent that's an electron donating group. This stabilizes the arrhenium ions following ortho or para addition of the electrophile, but not meta addition. Groups that are electron withdrawing by resonance are meta directors. They direct electrophiles to substitute at positions that are meta to themselves. And to appreciate this, let's once again consider the possible arrhenium ions derived from electrophilic nitration of an electron-poor 
benzene now. Nitrobenzene, in which the nitro group is a fantastic electron withdrawing group by resonance. The key thing to consider here is that the electron withdrawing group is going to put considerable positive charge into the ring and deactivate it towards electrophiles anyway. But the ortho and para positions are particularly deactivated, and rhenium ions 1 and 3 are particularly unstable. Let's look at rhenium ion 1 first. There's a big problem with rhenium ion 1. It's got two atoms with positive charge, formal positive charge anyway, directly connected to each other. That's a profoundly destabilizing situation with those like charges very close in the Lewis structure. In 3, although it appears we don't have positive charges directly next to each other, we've got this double bond separating the two formal positive charges, all it takes is a little consideration of resonance here to realize that, in fact, we do have two positive charges right next to each other in an alternative resonance form of 3. So in both rhenium ions 1 and 3, we've got quite a bit of positive charge buildup in the vicinity of the electron withdrawing group, which is going to cause profound destabilization of these rhenium ions 1 and 3, relative to 2, where we manage to avoid this. And again, it's worth pausing the video now to convince yourself that in 2, as we shift the positive charge around the ring, for example, by pushing pi electrons like this and pushing pi electrons like this, we actually avoid placing positive charge on this carbon directly connected to the nitro group. And so the situation is not as bad as how I would phrase it in 2 as it is in 1 and 3. Now, it's bad in all three rhenium ions drawn here relative to the two previous slides where we get stabilization of the positive charge by the electron donating group, whether it's by resonance on this slide or induction on the first one. So the situation's bad all around, but it's particularly bad for rhenium ions one and three. They're much higher in energy than the rhenium ion two. And so as we've seen, the reaction is going to selectively take the lower energy pathway through the lower energy rhenium ion two, and that's gonna to lead to the meta substituted product here. And the idea here is that only meta addition avoids adjacent positive charges in one of the resonance forms of the rhenium ion. And so to summarize again, groups that are electron withdrawing by resonance will lead to the meta product of electrophilic substitution selectively, and are deactivating toward EAS, meaning these reactions are quite often very slow. 